and we're back with Jarmaine Magala of the National Society of Arts and Letters. We've been talking about a competition that um, for music comes up only every six years. Is that right here in right. St. Louis? For aspiring professional musicians who are age 17 to 25 roughly, mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be at the Sheldon um, next month. And so it sounds really exciting. Um, do you have a lot of entrants for the competition um, so far, and do you expect a lot more coming up? We have known through decades of holding these competitions that students will wait to the last minute. Right. So yes, we have, a, we have quite a few already in, but we expect plenty more to be coming in so between like now. So how many will, and roughly, do you um, expect? I would say um, that with the given repertoire of, of this year's competition, it's, mm -hmm. we would be happy to get 10 to 12 comp comp okay. competitions. Okay, so 10 to 12 students. So really mm -hmm. there's, um, I mean, that's a fairly reasonable number. So the students shouldn't worry about having dozens and of dozens of to competitors. To compete, right. Um, so, and you were saying it's a blind, um, a blind competition, which, so as you were explaining to me, the judges are on stage and the, the musicians are on stage who are competing, but they're separated by a drape, so mm -hmm. they can't see each mm -hmm. other, which is really interesting mm -hmm. too. But the audience can see both, right? Can see everyone on Actually stage. not. Mm -hmm. um, so what'll happen is the judges will most likely be um, in, you know, at the Sheldon, so the, the competition will take place on the stage. Right. And then the judges will be in the seat. And, oh, okay. and, and they will be, yeah. You, so even if your parents are in the balcony. They can't see. They won't, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So they may not know. Well, they may or may not know. Yeah. And this, maybe the student could phone them from backstage or something yeah, I'm and say, up I'm next. next. Yeah. Right, exactly, um, exactly. Which would, which would not be a problem for anybody else. It would just be just for the judges. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, a very um, prestigious um, scholarship to win, or, or competition, I should say. They win scholarship money, mm -hmm. is that right? And um, so what are some other things that, that the National Society does uh, for our St. Louis um, artists? We have Winston Scholarship mm -hmm. um, uh, available, mm -hmm. and uh, that's actually going on right now as well. Our deadlines are coming up. That's in voice and in art. Okay. Um, and that's actually a, kind of a smaller, those will just be $250 cash awards, okay. um, but they too will go on to compete at the national level and, and then the money grows exponentially for them okay. as well. And the third one that I um, kind of hold near and dear to my heart is just the kids in the community that they write in and they say, um, you know, I'm a student, and typically they're a little younger. They may be even in high school. Mm -hmm. You know, so someone says I'm an honors band, and gee, I'd really like to go to this summer camp this mm -hmm. summer, um, but our folks just can't swing it. Okay. And so, you know, um, may I have some just straight out um, financial aid honorarium for mm -hmm. for something that so they want to do? Do you get a lot of those requests throughout the year? Um, we do. We do, and it depends on the year, mm -hmm. um, but I would say, um, you know, enough that we have to say no to some. Yeah, right. So Certainly. You're, yeah, so you look at different criteria, mm -hmm. and do you ever, do the students have to come in and interview? No, no. no. It's, it's an ask and basically an opinion and um, how we how they would apply the funds to benefit their artistic talent yeah that's really what we're right. we're, we're looking at so and all this information is on your website it is okay so students or parents can get information about the National Society can even join the National yes. Society if they mm -hmm. so desire and you've been involved for how many years John? I have been involved well I've gone through all six disciplines so I know at least six okay. years I've been a board member for three of those Okay, great. So I think it's interesting, the six disciplines in the arts are ranging from musical theater and drama to literature, music, etc. And every year a different discipline pops up as the, the one you're celebrating that year and that you have um, competitions for, is that right? right? And so even within one mm -hmm. discipline, for example, last year was art, we had printmaking, mm -hmm. which is really obscure. Okay. So they, they vary, but you know, we're doing it that way so that we you know, capture the arts in, right. in all art forms. Yeah. And we think we do a good job of that. Yeah, I think it's wonderful. And we're happy here at SDL TV to help you get the word out. Thank so you. So thank you so much for coming, Jermaine. Good luck um, to all of the 
the entrance next month at the shelter. It's going to be exciting. I want to thank Jermaine Magala for being with us today. For more information on the National Society of Arts and Letters, visit their website at nsal-stl.org. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Missouri Department of Conservation to talk about Eagle Days.